Ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to be on AOKP for the ASUS Transformer Prime. Basically, right now I'm running AOKP Build 40, and if you notice, the buttons like screenshot and brightness don't work, and the touchpad button doesn't work, the Bluetooth button doesn't work, pretty much nothing but the back button, like we'll open up Twitter, pressing back works, and play doesn't work either. None of these do. And you can lock the screen. So only a few buttons actually work right now. So when you want to turn the brightness up and down, you actually got to go up here and slide this little bar. Which isn't too bad. Plus, if you notice, whenever you undock it, and then you dock it again, with older builds like 36, 37, etc., it would actually take a very long time, and I would end up just rebooting the device to get both battery bars working. Now, keep in mind, this ROM is being updated frequently, so I have absolutely nothing bad to say about it at all. And you'll notice that the rotation is a little bit delayed right now. Well, I'm running version 6, Milestone 6, so... It's actually not nearly as bad as it was with build 40 and prior, and the battery thing's coming up pretty quickly. This video is going to show you how to update to 6.1 and do a complete wipe. Basically, I'm going to open up the AOKP backup tool right here. Looks like it's got a little cockroach on it. And then I'm going to choose backup, and it's going to be today, save, backup success. Let's find out where it's putting that backup at, under SD card AOKP backup. Anyways, you can take that file and transfer it to your computer. That way, if you do a full wipe that wipes SD card and everything, you'll never have to worry about it. Also, what I recommend doing is if, since you use Nova Launcher, if you're using Nova Launcher, go here to Backup, and then press Backup. I did that earlier today, and they even took it and synced it to Dropbox, so I don't gotta worry about that. And one last thing is open up Titania Backup, and press this little batch button right here. Press backup, all user apps and system data, and then press the little checkbox up there and let it do its thing. I actually did this earlier this morning, so I'm not going to do it. And one last thing is if you want to absolutely make sure you never lose it, go here to schedules, and then if you don't see run for like Dropbox and stuff, just go to menu, preferences, and enable Dropbox, Google Drive, whatever you want. And then sync it to the clouds, so that way you never lose it. Sorry about all the wavy lines, I don't know how to fix that. Basically, you're going to want to find this page right here, Roots Wiki, Milestone 6. One by Jermaine 151 so shout out to him for making this for us you're gonna go down here and then you're gonna find installation and downloads see full wipe recommended you're also gonna want to make sure you have the Google add-ons installed click on it and it takes you to this page right here and you download it I already have it downloaded see it right there complete 156 megabytes and then I'm going to open up Goo Manager. This is the way I prefer doing it. Flash ROMs, AOKP Milestone 6.1, and the Google add-ons. You're going to need both of those. To get them to show up right here, you need to put them in your Goo Manager folder. If you put them on the root directory of the SD card, you're going to have to click this right here, add zip from another location, and then you're going to have to scroll all the way down to the bottom wherever you put the zips. But if you put them in the Goo Manager folder, clicking Flash ROMs will take you right there. AOKP backup, Google add-ons, order flash selected. If the Google add-ons is on top, just press the down arrow and it'll put it on the second row. Basically, it's going to flash them in the order that you see them right now. So, the actual ROM is on top, it's going to get flashed first, and then the Google add-ons is second, and that's going to get flashed second. And here we're going to wipe Dalvik cache partition, and we're also going to do a factory reset. And then, just press flash. If you want to create a backup, go ahead and do it. I've already backed up everything with Nova Launcher, so I can... Love you too. I've already backed up all my desktop configurations and settings with Nova Launcher. Also, I backed up my AOKP settings with AOKP Backup. It's a $2 app in the Google Play Store and I highly recommend buying it. And I backed up all my apps and settings with Titania Backup and synced it to Dropbox. So, there is no need for me to create a backup. Flash? Yes. I forgot to point out that when you're in Goo Manager, if you hit the settings button, click install open script recovery and then keep pressing yes. You want to make sure you have the latest twerp recovery, which is 220 as of making this video, I believe. And with Goo Manager, this entire process is automated and you can set your Transformer Prime down and come back 10 15 minutes later and you're fully booted up into the system and you don't have to do anything.
All right, what I tell you? I had to touch my Transformer Prime, and I'm now booting into AOKP Milestone 6.1. All the dock keys will work. When you flip it, the orientation should be much faster. You'll be able to see all the changes in the description. I'll post a link to the Roots Wiki thread, and you can read it there. That's been the same boot animation since, like, build 30. Eight, I want to say. I know it changed somewhere around 37 or 38. Keep in mind the first boot up is always going to take a long time and then the rest of the boot up should be much shorter. Start. Connect to this one. You want your Wi-Fi to always be on while it's asleep. Or at least I do. That's pretty cool, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse. Or central time, so I gotta find that. Go ahead and sign into your Google account here. Alrighty, I want to restore, and I want to keep it backed up with my account. Yay, we're finished! We got a brand new install of AOKP Milestone 6.1. All of these buttons should work. I should be able to take a screenshot. Yep. I should be able to go to my settings. Yep. I should be able to disable the trackpad. Yep. You can't really see any kind of notification, but the trackpad's working. Press it, and now it's not. I can play my music if I wanted to, but I don't want to get copyrighted. I can turn on Bluetooth, and I can turn it off. All the buttons work now. Yay! I'm gonna open up the Google Play Store real quick. And then I'm gonna search for AOKP Backup. And it's the first one you see right there. So it's actually gonna take a minute for this to install because it's got a million other apps that it's installing. I don't know how to get rid of the wavy lines. All right, well it's got like a billion different apps to install, but basically whenever you finally get around to installing AOKP Backup, you can just launch the app, press restore, and all of your settings, like here I had five buttons and I had the battery circle mod, and all of those will be back to the way they were, and then install Nova Launcher and restore your Nova Launcher settings, and it'll restore all of your desktop icons and screens and preferences you had set for that. But you'll probably wanna make sure you restore the apps that you really want first, because because it'll put little icons all over your screen and those apps won't be installed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and it lets me know that you like the video and you want to see more like it. Android Moby, I think that's how you pronounce it or say it, they released a flash utility where to my understanding, I may be incorrect, it, once you do it, you can never permanently brick it, you can always restore it. And I'm going to do a little bit of research on that and I might make a video doing that. If there's any other videos you want to see on this tablet, please let me know. I literally use this thing each and every day and this ROM is by far the best ROM you could possibly ever use on this tablet. This is what would Josh do and I'm out.